I asked AI to build a startup for me. Let's call it a product. And without any single line of the code, I could manage to create the product and deploy the product using AI. And this is the product that the AI helped me build. It's a very simple random code generator and it has got a bunch of pages that are not filled in yet. But as you can see, like as I refresh this page every time, you can see the code getting refreshed. But the point here is it's the ultimate no code tool that anybody could have ever imagined. All I had to write is a set of instruction and I got this product in fact deployed, which is not very easy if you are simply using a solution like ChatGPT that you have to get the code, paste it somewhere else and deploy it. The AI that I used is called Data Butler. It's from a company called Data Button, which provides you a free tier to go and deploy this one single interface. And this is how the interface looks like. Like for example, you can write the code and deploy everything within one single place. And I'm going to show you in this video every single step of how you can use Data Butler, Data Butler from Data Button to create and deploy your own AI application or any application for that matter. Let's get started with this video. First thing you need to do is you need to have a Data Button account. Let's assume that you know how to create a Data Button account. Once you know how to create a Data Button account, once you log into Data Button, you would see something like this. Let's start with a new blank app. So if you want to use template, you can use template, but I'm going to start with a new blank app. It takes a little bit of time for it to set up. Once it sets up, this is the place where we are going to write our code, the prompt that we are going to, the instruction that we are going to give it to AI, the Data Butler AI, that is going to help us write the code. One thing that you need to keep in mind is Data Butler, Data Button hosts Streamlit application. And the Streamlit application is, uh, Streamlit is a very well-known framework for creating data apps within Python ecosystem without using HTML, CSS, JavaScript. Like we have tons of tutorials on this channel on Streamlit, I would strongly encourage you to check it out. But right now for this, at least you do not need to know any code, but if you know coding, it is quite helpful. Okay, it simply says, hello Abdul, and that's the basic application we have got. So I'm going to go here and then give an instruction. Let's, let's, let's write it together. Uh, help, please create a Streamlit app for me. The app should display random codes. Use any API to fetch free. Okay, let's say free API to fetch random codes. Make sure you have a title. Okay, uh, let's let's send it as as it is now, and then let's see if the app first works, and then we can also clean up the code and debug the code. But for now, we are going to just send it and then see how it works. So we have got the Streamlit application, the code, and I'm going to copy this. I assume that this is a free API, but let's see. I'm going to copy this, go here, paste it, and I'm going to wait for it to refresh, and or you can run the code. Once you run the code, you can see, okay, random code generator. The most frustrating than slanders is the foolish. Let's reload it again, and it is going to give another. Mark Manson, the, the guy who wrote one of the most popular anti-productive book, the more something threatens your identity, the more you will avoid, right? It's good. So this works. Only touch that I would probably like is if I can add an emoticon. So I'm going to go just, just, I'm going to just add an emoticon. I'm going to just add an emoticon, nothing else. And I'm going to wait after I add the emoticon and click reload. And you can see the emoticon is there, but you know what? This is actually good, but this does not have all the pages that I wanted. Like I can go to the settings and change the theme again without writing any code but I don't, I don't have any menu item. So what I'm going to go do is I'm going to go ask it to give me a nav bar. Nav bar is a navigation bar, or you can call it a menu item also. I'm going to copy this code, or I can just say, use the above code and add menu items slash nav bar for me. Fill in sample content in the nav bar pages technically typically a nav bar would be at the top but uh, streamlit lets you add nav bar like on the side so you would you would most likely see it on the side but let's see how it goes so it, it's trying to add three pages you can see home above contact and uh, inside every page you can see that it is actually adding certain details the home is where we have the detail that we just saw and um, the about page and the contact page and it, it even managed to create a random email ID. Yeah, that's, it's actually funny. And, uh, whatever page that you select, it's going to go to that particular page. 
and it also gives you the details about what you're actually seeing it. So copy the code, go back again and paste it. And then let's see what happens, run it. Now you can see that it is actually using a different API, I guess. So you can see the nav bar. So I can minimize this and see only the application. I can see only the app. Like I can go here and check if I want code, code only code plus app. Cool. Bottom cool. Just only the app and I can click this button and then see the pages. So I have home pages, I have about and I have contact. Contact is just random. You can go fill in details, whatever you want. So home, this thing. So now is the time for me to go and update my email ID. Let me say contact. I don't have contact email ID. One little coder at gmail.com. This is a stream, simple streamlit app that shows the ultimate no code a coding tool. I mean, this is well and good, but let's say if you want to add, so right now you can see that we are using only request as a library and uh, that has been already part of this. But if you want to actually add any extra library, let's say like a PyTorch or TensorFlow, if you want to use any machine learning library, then you have to go to the configuration and inside the configuration, you have to add the packages. But for our use case, at least this is not required. So I'm not going to do it. Just wanted to show you. So let's say like at this point, we are in a good, good shape uh, to be honest. Um, I can try to add a background image. So let's see if I can add a background image. Let me first ask, how can I add a simple image to the streamlit app just below the title? Okay, so I just want to add a simple image just below the title. And uh, let's see if it can actually tell us it, it actually gives us but it is not giving okay, it's it's giving random. So I'm going to stop it. I don't I don't want it to give me like a random placeholder. I want to give I want it to give me like a real image. So we can say get an image from the internet and use that as a an example placeholder. Okay, it did. We have successfully created a random code generator that's with pages. And you know, I just wanted an image there to deploy this. All you have to do is go here, click the deploy app button. And this is the URL, which you have to share it with others. If they were to access your application and click deploy. And as you can see, the deployment is in process. The deployment is successful. As you can see, everything is green. So probably life is happy. I'm going to go back here. Uh, this is my old application that I showed you at the start of the video, but to paste the new application link and uh, it shows data button. The application is loading and you can see random code generator, the image that we used that quote, frankly, D Roosevelt, and I can go to the other pages contact. You can contact us at one little coder and go back again. You will get a different email, uh, sorry, different quote, Khalil Gibran, and you have got all these images. And if you want to share this with everybody, you can go here. Click this particular link to share it with anybody stats. Like you can go here and then see the stats, how many people visited it and how many pages you have got, what kind of things you used, are you using any data storage? These are all advanced things. Like once you start building application, you have to do it. But for now, the ultimate no code tool is AI. And in this video, we learned how to use data buttons, data butler to create a streamlit application, a random code generator. And without a single line of code, like we didn't have to write a single line of code. And we also managed to deploy this completely within data button for free. I will share this link in the YouTube description. Please check it out. Let me know what do you feel about this? Let me know like if you actually believe that AI is the ultimate no code tool. See you in another video. Happy prompting. Peace.